Hi everybody, welcome to my traveling channel, living in Asia and traveling around Asia. I am Nathalie Kuzon and I am telling about my trips and my life in Asia. Right now, today I am in Taipei, in Taiwan, and today I would like to share a little bit with you about my trip in this marvelous city. Dan Forest Park is a public park located near the center of the Dan district of Taipei in Taiwan. The park occupies 26 hectares and is used by residents of Taipei as a green activity space and for various outdoor activities. The park was created in 1994. The park is the home to a wide variety of animals including squirrels and several species of ducks, egrets and turtles. This is my first visit to Taiwan. It's a very green island. There are so many marvelous parks like I am right now with uh, birds and squirrels. You know, everything in Taiwan is so peaceful and so relaxing and in harmony with nature. Similar to the large parks of other cities, Dan Park is surrounded by high-priced luxury condominiums that fetch a premium due to their desirable views, some reaching the price of 400 million New Taiwan dollars in 2012. Dan Forest Park was intended to play a similar role as other major city parks such as New York's Central Park and London's Hyde Park, acting as a lounge of Taipei City and as a respite for residents from the bustle of life in Taipei. The attitude of people towards nature is amazing. They respect each other, they respect um, people around, and you surely can feel it, you know, it's different from a little bit chaotic and fast Shanghai temple of life and modern Hong Kong probably because they have mountains around, they have nice parks in the city, they have um, marvelous lakes and if you want to see my other trips to those lakes and mountains but be sure to check the links I provide for this video. Palace squirrel is a species of squirrel native to Greater China, India and Southeast Asia. Palace squirrel is a medium-sized tree squirrel with a head body length of 16 to 28 centimeters and a tail 11 to 26 centimeters in length. Both sexes are of similar size and appearance and weight between 310 to 460 grams. The color is generally brownish on the upper body with a more reddish tint on the belly and often with some black on the tail. Palace squirrel is found throughout much of southeastern Asia, including Taiwan. Palace squirrels primarily eat leaves, flowers, seeds and fruit. They also eat small quantities of insects as well as occasional bird eggs. They have lived for up to 17 years in captivity. Egrets are herons which have white or buff plumage. The word egret comes from the French word aigrette that means both silver heron and brush. Domestic geese are domesticated grey geese that are kept by humans as poultry for their meat, eggs and down feathers since ancient times. From the time of the Romans, white geese have been held in great esteem. Changes to the plumage are variable. Many have been selected to lose dark brown tones of the wild bird. Wild geese are often preferred as they look better plucked and dressed. 
Geese produce large edible eggs weighing 120 to 170 grams. Like their wild ancestors, domestic geese are very protective of their offspring and other members of the flock. Owing to their highly aggressive nature, loud call, and sensitivity to unusual movements, geese can contribute towards the security of a property. In late 1950s, South Vietnam, the VNAF used flocks of geese to guard their park aircraft at night due to the noise they would make at intruders. What I love the most is that there are mountains around and it's easy to go there. It's not that far, like maybe three or four hours by bus you have to spend to get to nature. No, the closest mountain is an elephant mountain that you can get by bus. And you hike and you can see a marvelous view from the whole Taipei. It's a great time if you go there um, to, to see Taipei sunset. Um, or sunrise. Another one, if you want to see my trip, I had a hike to Xixin Mountain, uh, which is translated like seven stars. It's the highest mountain here, and the view should be great if you hike in sunny day. Um, so, if you want to see this trip, which I had, you can see this link. The black crowned night heron, commonly shortened to just night heron in Eurasia, is a medium sized heron found throughout a large part of the world, except in the coldest regions. The sex is a similar in appearance, although the males are slightly larger. They are very noisy birds in their nesting colonies, with calls that are commonly transcribed as quack or walk. The breeding habitat is fresh and saltwater wetlands throughout much of the world. Black crowned night herons nest in colonies on platforms of sticks in a group of trees or in the ground in protected locations such as islands or reed beds. Three to eight eggs are laid. They primarily eat small fish, frogs, aquatic insects, small mammals, and small birds. They are observed to engage in bait fishing, luring or distracting fish by tossing edible or inedible buoyant objects into water. The eastern long necked turtle inhabits a wide variety of water bodies and is an opportunistic feeder. It is a side necked turtle, meaning that it bends its head sideways into its shell rather than pulling it directly back. When it feels threatened, this turtle will emit an offensive smelling fluid from its mask glands. This trait gives the turtle one of its other common names, stinker. The eastern long necked turtle is carnivorous, eating a variety of animals. This includes insects, worms, frogs, small fish, and mollusks. Enjoying my time being here, it's really nice, and I don't want to leave. I would say, and for the people who want to calm and still doubting, you should experience this in your life just once because you will have unforgettable experience. That's really nice. Um. Also, if you're interested to see other videos about Taipei and my trip in Taipei I have uh, some videos for you where uh, as well where I recommend um, the best things to visit in Taipei also I discovered the best food in Taipei so I have a list for you to try and some recommendations where to eat uh, why you're tripping Taipei. So if you are interested just click the links I provide for this video. I would really recommend you guys to come and visit and feel it by yourselves because it's really a marvelous experience. Uh, first I never like considered coming here 
um, but then I ha got the chance to come and I totally loved it you know from the very beginning I felt in love with this country with the capital Taipei 